Hi, welcome back. Uh, my name is Kelly. If you're new to this channel, this is Therapy Designs, the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. And uh, soon I'm gonna be creating uh, additional content as well, going over different aspects of print-on-demand and different uh, platforms such as Merch by Amazon, Redbubble, and Etsy. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how to create this design right here. It is a heart and it is made up of a bunch of different size balls. So these are actually pickle balls or, or wiffle balls, but you can use any type of graphic that you like. Um, to keep it simple, I went ahead and just used one graphic in different sizes and kept it all one color. But again, you can be as creative as you like. So you can use different graphics and different colors to create any shape that you like. So using this method. And I'm also going to show you how to group these together and how to lock them so that you don't accidentally move all of these pieces while you're designing. So please stick around. So as always, I'm starting with my blank background. I've gone ahead and made the background color black just so it's easier for me to work on. Uh, in today's video, it's gonna be pretty short. I'm gonna show you how to put different graphics into a shape. So today's, I'm just gonna use an easy heart shape and um, actually graphics is gonna be pickleball, um, but you can use anything that you like. And I'm gonna show you how to simply duplicate this and change the size to make it all work. So the first thing you're gonna do is start with whatever shape it is that you wanna work with. I'm just gonna do a heart because it's gonna be quick and easy. I'm gonna come up to elements. I've already typed in heart, so I'm just gonna grab any heart I like because it is just gonna be my outline. So I'm gonna take this heart and I'm just gonna make it big. As big as I wanna make it. Okay. So that is gonna be my frame. So the next, I just want my image. You can use multiple images. For this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and use one image and repeat it in different sizes so that you get the idea simply. So I'm gonna come up to elements. I am gonna search for a pickleball. And if you don't know what pickleball is, don't worry. <laughs> it's just become very popular where I, where I live in California. So I hear about it all the time now, um, but that is a pickleball. Now, uh, it doesn't matter what color it is, I'm gonna change them so they're all the same color in the end. So I can just go ahead and leave it the color it is. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with one size. I'm gonna start with something a little bit bigger, maybe there, oops. And now all I wanna do is duplicate this. So in order to duplicate it, you could copy paste or an even faster way would be just to hit Control D. And then every time I hit Control D, it's just gonna keep duplicating as many times as I like. So now that I have a whole bunch, I'm gonna go ahead and spread them out. Oops, I didn't mean to move the circle. There we go. I'm gonna spread them out throughout the heart. Now the idea is to get them right up against the edges because this is how you're gonna create your border. So you can put them in different places. Just make sure that you get some right up against the edges to create your border. Just get it as close as you can. If you find you're having difficulty getting it right up against the edge, you can always use, um, I got more than I need. You can always use the arrow keys to move your image. And it, if you push on the arrow key, it'll just move your image literally one pixel at a time. So you can be very precise if you need to be. Okay, so I had more than I needed. <laughs> So next, I'm just gonna start adding in smaller and smaller pickleballs. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go ahead, Control D, I'm gonna duplicate it. Now I'm gonna make one that is, whoops, a little bit smaller. Perfect, maybe even a little smaller than that. So this is the size I'm gonna go with. And now I'm just gonna duplicate this one, same process, Control D, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these and I'm gonna start filling in the gaps. So again, I need to make sure I get a good solid border on this. So eh, where can I put this? So I'm gonna bring it up so that I'm close to a border for all of them. And again, I can micro adjust as needed later. But if I just get a gross placement of where I want everything, and I'm also filling in some of these gaps here. 
And so it's a simple process, but it can take, you know, a little bit of time, obviously, um, just to space everything where you want it to be. And again, make sure you're getting ones right up against the edge. I'm actually gonna take this and bring it right up against the edge. Use my arrow key here. Perfect, I can use my arrow key on that one to bring it up just a little bit. I'm gonna use my arrow key on that one, bring that one up just a little bit. I'm gonna bring this one out and up. So it's right against the edge. Take this one and bring it down just a little bit. Okay, so you can see the way this is coming along. And you can keep going. Actually, I'm gonna put that one up there. Okay, next I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna go ahead, Control D, duplicate. I'm gonna make another one that's even smaller than that one. Move it right out of the way. And for this one, I'm going to Control D, make a thousand little tiny ones. And so you can see, I am just gonna start kind of cross creating a border and filling in gaps. You wanna try to get the border as solid as you can. Oh, got a tiny one there. And so what I'm doing now is just going around and Moving them so that it looks good. I can create ones that are a little bit bigger, or a little bit smaller. And I can resize the ones that I have if I need to. Okay, so after a little bit of time uh, sorting out where you want to put everything, I've got it pretty well filled, enough so to show you. Now, all I have to do is at this point, remove my frame and you can see that you've got a um, heart-shaped design. If for whatever reason you look at it and you're like, ooh, I think I need to fill it in some more or my edges aren't quite good, no problem. Come back up here to undo. If you hit undo, your heart will be right back and you can continue to work on it. And so you can do that as many times as you like, dragging it off, seeing if it's full putting it back and continuing to fill the space. Once you do have it the way that you like it and you've got all of your edges, you know, good enough to tell the shape, you can bring that totally out of the way. And now if you want everything to be the same color, that's really easy. I can click on any one of these. And if I want these to all be red, for example, I click change all and there we go. So now I have a design that is a red heart made out of different size pickleballs. So again, this is the simple way to do it. I only used one color and I only used one graphic in different sizes. You can get as creative as you want with this. You can use different graphics and different sizes, different colors, but this is essentially how you can make a shape uh, filled with whatever kind of graphic that you like. So for here, I'm just gonna go ahead and put heart pickleball. <laughs> Oops. Perfect. And then I am going to go ahead and I'm going to download this. So we're going to hit transparent background and download. I'm also going to show you a little trick that you can do. So again, I've got all of these where I want them. If I was to click here, I can pull them all up. I don't think I can. Did I get them all? Yeah, I got them all in a group. No, nope, not quite. So if I wanted to group all of these, I can pick anywhere in the corner, make sure that they're all encompassed and come all the way down. Now these are all grouped together. So now as one big group, I can move them around. I can resize it. I can bring it out. So easy way to do it so that you're not, you know, moving every itty bitty little one while you go. 
So, oops, good enough. Now, if I wanted to, let's say, write on top of this and I keep accidentally hitting one of these, I can also take all of these, group them together just how I did. So click, pull up, now they're all in a group. Now I can come up here and hit group and now it is gonna lock this in as one image. So now I can take this one image and move it around, okay? Whoop. If I wanted to lock it to the page, for example, let's say I wanted to keep this whole thing, well, no. lock. If I wanted to lock it in this place right here, I could go ahead, come up here, here to where it has a lock, I can click on that. That is going to lock it in place. So now this image cannot be moved, okay? So now, if I wanted to write all over it or do any kind of extra designs, I don't have to worry about accidentally moving one of my little balls. So if I wanted to put text on top of it, if I wanted to put, for example, love and make that really big, Again, I don't have to worry. I'm not gonna accidentally move this heart at all. They are all locked in place until such time as I unlock them. So that's an easy way to group everything together so you don't accidentally move anything. Now, of course, all of this can be undone. I can click this, I can come up, I can unlock. Now it's unlocked. So now I can move it again, but it's still grouped. Now I can also ungroup. So if I go ungroup, now they're all individual again and I can move them out of the way. So those are some easy tricks when you're dealing with a lot of little elements that you don't wanna accidentally move or you want to be able to move them all at once or proportionally make them bigger or smaller. So that is, that is the simple way to do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. That's it for this video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos on how to create designs on Canva and everything else print-on-demand related, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.